What's up everyone? This is going to be the first video in a series of videos I'm planning on making for my trip up to Baxter State Park. I made reservations for camping at Baxter State Park months in advance, like back in February. And because it's a super popular park up in Maine, it's the where the Appalachian Trail, the northern terminus is. Um, it's home to Katahdin, which is probably one of the most famous mountains in, in the Northeast. And I have three 4,000 footers that I needed to do within the park. Uh, the first, Baxter Peak, which is the main peak on Katahdin. Um, I did that back in fall of 2021, uh, but I wasn't able to get the other two peaks, uh, Hamlin and North Brother. Weather this weekend so far looks pretty okay. Um, so I'm not gonna, I don't wanna jinx it, but I think I might luck out. So I'm all packed up. I have my camping gear for Thursday to next Tuesday. Um, I'm primarily staying in Baxter State Park. I have a few reservations at some campgrounds. Um, I'm gonna be moving to, to them kind of night by night. And then for my final night, um, Monday night going into Tuesday, I'm camping at uh, Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument. I was able to get a pretty cheap site there. Um, I'm looking forward to checking that out as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I've, I've been, since I'm, I'm so close to the, the 4,000 footers, to completing the 4,000 footers list, it's, uh, it feels good. I don't know. I'm excited. So like most trips, start out with a uh, stop at Wawa to get uh, just like a little snack and then frozen lemonade. So you know it's gonna be a good trip. So, first stop was on Great Island in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, just checking it out for sunsets. Some nice color behind me. It's like a lighthouse somewhere. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there, the green light. My plan for tonight is to head over to Portland, Maine. Um, there's like a free campsite that I found. Um, it's literally just a, uh, a park and ride. Um, so I'm going to stealth camp there. Supposedly it's okay. Um, they allow overnight parking. So uh, I'm just gonna set up the car for um, sleeping in it and then head over there. I'm gonna stay the night and wake up early and try to see sunrise at Portland Headlight. All right, it's not ideal, but I'm gonna move this stuff once I park, and I'm gonna roll that out. Put my window covers on, the bug screens on those two, uh, the back windows. Just got to my stealth camp spot for the night. The free camping website that I use says it's a place that a lot of people use, and. I believe it because there's a bunch of cars here and I think I saw a few other people do the same thing. But I got my window covers on the, the back windshield and the two windows in the trunk. And then I'm doing um, bug netting for the back seat windows. Of course, I got my fan with my light going. It's pretty helpful. It's It was getting a little bit warm in here. Um, and then I have the shade that separates the driver's side and the, the back seats and trunk. This fan's legit. I got a remote control that came with it, so I could adjust the speed. I can also adjust the brightness of the light. 
Good morning from my stealth campsite parking lot. You can see there's like a, a camper right there. It did get a little bit loud, like around midnight. Uh, there was some people like yelling, but um, other than that, not too bad. Probably wouldn't stay here again though. So I'm at the Portland Head Lighthouse and there's some residual color from the sunrise. Um, I got a, I didn't get a, out here at the sunrise because it just wasn't looking great. Um, but I'm glad I came out here. Last time I was out here was back in January of 2022. After I finished up my uh, New Hampshire 48, I went, went into Maine for a little bit. Just got to Roaring Brook Campground. I got my tent set up. So now I'm going to have lunch. I'll probably just walk around a little bit on the trails close to the uh, campground. There's a river and maybe there's a few ponds I'll check out. One big error that I made was um, I didn't bring any bug spray. That's kind of a stupid move since I'm in like a place known for like having a lot of mosquitoes. So I'm doing a loop of like uh, Sandy Stream Pond, uh, Widden Pond. Um, I'm just going to loop back around to the campground. That's the South Turner Mountain. I would hike that today, but I have a big three days ahead of me. So I'm not trying to uh, Try to just conserve myself for those those big days. Plus, like I I don't need to climb a mountain. Um, I just this is nice just walking around, no elevation gain, barely any elevation gain. So I'm totally happy doing this. So I just saw a moose in Sandy Stream Pond. It was like right out in the middle of it. it was, uh, had its head and antlers poking out. That's the first, I've never seen that before. Only seen them like from a distance and on land in like a marshy area. It was pretty awesome. Just intersected the Russell Pond Trail, and I'm headed towards Wooden Pond. So, at Wooden Pond, and Baxter Peak on Katahdin is clouded. 
and then I think that might be Hamlin. On the trail back to Roaring Brook Campground and I'm going to exit the park and go get some bug spray. I'll have to drive probably like 35 minutes out and then 35 minutes back to get in, back to the campground. I just I can't do this week without bug spray. I'm getting massacred by mosquitoes already, so. I think it's okay. It's not raw. That's good. It's about 9.30 and the sky really just opened up. Um, thankfully I was able to get all my stuff into the car and into my tent. Before it got super wet but i was really just for the most of the night after dinner i was just hanging in the in the hammock i got all my stuff ready for tomorrow um i'm going to do katahdin um probably set an alarm for 4:45 just to give myself enough time to wake up eat breakfast and um, also pack up all my stuff here because um, i'm moving campsites tomorrow after my hike so um I just, I need to be out of here before I start my hike. See you uh, bright and early tomorrow morning.